Come on in, my friend. Come on in. Come on in. Don't be distracted by this. This is that skin cancer that was burned off. And I have another one right there. And I had a biopsy on my leg. And man, just one thing after another. It's all good. I really um, think I, you have to do your due diligence, people, and get checkups so that things can be prevented. So even though I have skin cancer, they were able to burn it before it like went internally where they had to like go in and surgically dig and get it out. So make sure that you get to your doctor, get your self checked. Regular checkups is very, very important. Those wellness checkups, not just when you're sick to go in. <laughs> so it's distracting even to me. There's a great big red blob right in the middle of my head. Oh my goodness. Anyway, we're just going to move forward with that. Today is Saturday, July 24th. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the 24th. I thought it was the 23rd. Oh my gosh. See, and I'm even a day off. So today is the 24th. So I just wanted to give an update on a wellness checkup with skin cancer. Make sure you get yourselves checked. And there's obviously all kinds of cancer and other things that could be going on. And being 61 years old, I just want to make sure, you know, that I keep getting myself checked because we've talked about this. I want to live a long life, not die a long life. And uh, that's the trajectory that we want to go, right? All right, so let's get into it today. So I've been talking, I, I'm super excited. First of all, I believe I shared with you last week, I'm going to be um, doing, hosting a show on Clubhouse in the Breakfast of Champions. I don't know what night yet. We're going to do a nightly thing, hoping between 8 and 9 Central. Maybe a little late for some of you folks, but for the people that are in the uh, nightclub industry, those are, those are going to be really great hours. So... I'm excited about that. And we're going to be talking about the tipping industry um, as far as dancers, DJs, house moms, you know, that sort of thing. I was in that industry for 17 years. I know it very, very well. And my new co-host, Jack, he is, was a former DJ in that industry. So he has a lot to say. He's heard many, many stories too. I cannot wait to do interviews with the house moms. Uh, managers of clubs, that sort of thing. So it's going to be a lot, of, a lot, a lot of fun. So one of the biggest things that is missing from that industry too is not only is there, like, like there's a myriad of things and there's a, you know, a big reason why we get into those things. And one of, you know, it, a lot of people, or at least in, in my circle, there were girls that used that time wisely to go to school, you know, learn a new trade, do new do new things. And one of the series I'm going to be talking about moving forward is on different topics of what you can do to invest your time in, right? So, and Facebook, if you're upset with that word, I don't know. There's words that, that Facebook allows and doesn't allow, and I don't know what they are. So we learn as we go, learn as we grow. So I'm hoping that that works. So anyway, so the, I'm going to talk about ghostwriting today. And the reason I'm talking about ghostwriting is because I'm super excited. I've been asked to, to write in two different books. One is about sons. And the other one is, I was sharing about my breast implant illness and explanting. And I'm still going through detoxing and that. And I finally have felt this week that I'm feeling different. Thank goodness. I explanted in January. And I was like, something feels different this week. And I notice that my face isn't so uh, swollen and, and I'm feeling like I'm feeling a little thinner and I'm like, what's going on? And, and I've dropped five pounds. So I was like, yay! And, and uh, all from just changing out a few eating things too and, and eating a lot more greens, a lot more whole foods because whole foods definitely are healing. And so I'm doing that and I, I feel like so much better, but also knowing that I've actually finally lost like five pounds. Like, thank you. Thank, thank you. Cause I've been stuck on that dang weight for, for weeks. And it's like, what is going on? And it is definitely a part of, 
all of that because my hormones, my my body is just all up in upheaval. Like it was major surgery, you know, there's heavy metal toxins, there's a lot going on and just, you know, it's a ta just a day at a time. And so being in that industry was one of the reasons I got breast implants because I wanted to, that's how I made my money, right? I was topless dancer. So I wanted to be able to, you know, just be all, it, it images everything in that industry, right? You want to look hot. You want to have a smoking body. Like there's a lot that goes into that. And so I got implants and, and uh, there were years that, so this, this was my second set, by the way. And my first set, I, there was just things that were going on and, and I, I kept telling my doctor and I was, I was married at the time. I was telling my husband, I'm like, oh my God, what is going on? Like, this is happening. This is happening. And my doctor put in my chart, a hypo hypochondriac. And I was like, really? Cause I'm pretty certain there's things going on. So I will post a list of some of the symptoms of breast implant illness. I'll post it below, uh, after this. And you can see for yourself what some of them are. And again, wellness checkups are everything. The, your normal doctors are not going to know about uh, breast implant illness. So you want to know more about that, let me know. I'll place you in a group. Um, I can also let you know who my doctor is. And there's also just some really great, great girls, my girls, that you can connect with to learn more. And uh, they've all, ex I've had four of my friends explanted. I have another one explanting in August. And everyone is super, super happy that they've done that. So just to kind of catch up and give you a little bit of awareness about that. So anyway, you were in this industry and I definitely retired a millionaire. However, I didn't invest in anything. I didn't know, I didn't know how to invest. I wasn't taught any of these types of things. So my beliefs around that were so completely different than they are now. And every day we change, every day we're, we become, we grow. We do new things. So I decided that I wanted to share some specific different, you know, things um, that we can, that you can, that we can get into if we want to. And so today I wanted to share about ghostwriting. And again, it was because I had, because by my sharing my story uh, in, in this group that I'm in, in a whole completely different group, there was, uh, there is, not was, there's this beautiful lady, her, I'm just going to say Kelly, who decided because I inspired her for when she had cancer had, and had mastectomy and she had heard my story and decided to go against having implants. And because of my story and her making this decision, she decided to get a group of women together to write a book. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited about it. It's super fascinating. And all these different women with all their different stories to empower, encourage, uplift, inspire, not only each other, but for you. And I, I get to be a part of that. I'm, it, I'm like so, so excited. And then also another um, person jumped in. She's writing a book on, on boys, sons. I have two of them. So I asked if she wanted to hear about my journey with my, my two um, sons. She said, absolutely. So I get to write in that. And then I'm also writing my own book. And I'm also going to be putting that, I'm putting together a website. So I'll be blogging about all these different things. So that'll be, kind of, that'll be really, really fun. Super exciting. And I just, I cannot wait to share all of this with all of you. And you're all very, very special to me. And if there's anything I can do for you, just let me know. And if it's just telling my show, story and sharing with you and it uplifts you in any way, then I have done a good thing. And that makes me feel good too. So so I decided that I'm going to do a little mini series uh, moving forward these next um, few Saturdays and talk about different things that especially this industry does it may or may not know about. Uh, but what I did want to talk about today is ghostwriting. Like I said, since I've been asked to write in a couple books and write my own book, I was like, oh, ghostwriting. So I remember when I was younger, I read all the time. It was my escape. It was escape because I lived in a very, um, very trauma-filled household. On weekends, my parents would get very highly intoxicated and it was definitely a very domestic violent household. My stepdad was a complete jerk back then. And 
So I would hide in my room and read stories and horse stories were my favorite. And I, I started speaking in a language that my mom got really upset about. And it was a language of just speaking um, better words, better quality words, big words. And I, re I remember the conversation very well. One day she just yelled at me and she's like, stop it. I don't understand what you're saying. And she's like, I don't want to hear it anymore. Just speak like a normal person. And so I stopped reading. I stopped talking in that manner. And I thought, oh my gosh, just coming into the realization all these years later of what had happened was I just stopped dreaming in these books. That was my escape. Like I was, I was in the dreams of these other people's books. And I remember way back when I used to journal all the time. I used to like write a lot and, and but those journals got me into a lot of trouble too. Cause I was probably writing things I should not, oh, actually not even probably, I was writing things I should not have been writing about. And my mom read them all and that was a whole other story. Anyway, so I stopped writing, stopped reading, stopped talking about uh, or big words and I just talked a lot, really talked a lot about nothing. And then as I grew older, I cussed a lot. And like the F word was really my my tractor story. And the F word really kept people away from me. Like I had this, you know, you could you could enter and you could tell me how, you know, beautiful I was and all these different things. But if I wanted to keep you at bay, I would just start talking like a truck driver and it would be like a complete turn off. And that's where I wanted you to be. Crazy, 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 right? But that's just how it was. And now that I have, you know, turned 61 and going through, you know, years of a lot of hardship and a lot of heartbreak, a lot of trauma, a lot of drama, you know, um, I, I just decided that I want something different. So I decided too that I wanted to really help the industry, the tipping industry, the adult entertainment industry. And I'm not talking the porn industry. I'm not talking, um, the sex industry I'm talking, well, is sexual, but not porn industry, and to the adult uh, entertainment clubs, is these girls don't have any idea on how to, what to do with their money. And if they're going to school, that's great. I don't really hear a lot about that. Um, and these days, it's really more uh, me-oriented, you know, it's what I want just for today, and, and, and it is a quick fix to a lot of things. So I wanted to talk and clarify and start bringing about awareness to other things that the girls could be doing or the guys could be doing, whoever this may be. And if it's for you, then oh, that's really fabulous too. So today, because of those books, it I thought of ghostwriting. And I had seen on TikTok even a girl, and I, I, I wish I would have remembered her name. I'm sorry, you guys. And she's making a lot, a lot, a lot of money ghostwriting. And I'm talking a lot of money. And I thought, ghostwriting? So I started doing a little bit of research on it. And so here it is. So if you love to read, and if you love to, you know, get lost in somebody else's stories, you can actually be that story writer for for those people. So what I've learned is, I, and I'm thinking ghostwriting, so, and, and what I got confused about was actually proofreading. Right, so proofreading and you know making sure that the editing is all correct. That's what I was thinking of what I could be doing. You know, and at sixty one, I'm thinking, wow, that's something I could definitely do for the rest of my life. And I definitely would love to get, you know, caught up in stories. So proofreading definitely can be one of those things. But ghostwriting, like you can actually write stories for other people. You can blog for them. You can, you know. Um, actually create the stories for them and you don't, but you don't get the recognition for it. So like there's pros and cons to all of this, but the, the great thing about it is that you can do this and you can make a really, really great living at it and you can do it from anywhere in the world. And I know that in the, in the adult entertainment industry, that was one of the lures that I loved about being in that industry. Cause I could make a lot of money in a day. And if I wanted to take the next day off, I could, and because I was an independent contractor, I didn't have somebody telling me that I had to be there. 
And and so I could make in a day what I, I do at my job in two weeks. And I'm like, man, this something is like messed up here. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm not used to I I so for 10 years as I've been doing is working for someone else. I'm like, no, 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 no. I want to work for myself again. And even though ghostwriting is working basically for somebody else, you're still doing it kind of on your time. And like again, though, like you can you can take it with you wherever you go, whereas a job has you really tied into your place of employment and to your boss. And and even though in ghostwriting, you definitely have, I mean, you're going to have, you know, time restraints for sure. And, you know, but you can, you can do it with sweatpants on. Like you can work from home, you can work in your computer, you know, you can take your computer to the beach if that's where you want to go. You know, if you're in an airport somewhere, you can work on it in an airport. And I'm thinking, wow, this sounds like a really kind of really cool gig to do. And I wouldn't even use it as a side hustle. Like I'd make that my thing, right? And we talked about this before too, that if you're doing a side hustle, the side hustle isn't your side hustle. It's actually your thing is what you're doing. So here's what ghostwriting can do for you. Also, so it's, it, there is definitely a lot of research involved and you're going to be um, working with, basically like a, well, I wouldn't say a third party person, but you'd be working with the editor and you definitely would need to know your person, the character, you need to know what their character is. So if you're writing blogs for this person and their business, or, you know, you're helping them with their branding or anything like that, you absolutely must know their character and you've got to learn how to write like them. Right. So there's a lot that goes into it. And I thought, man, this sounds like a lot of fun, like for me anyway. So but it's definitely something. So you don't, and you don't get your, to put your name on it for all the work that you've done. So that these are like the pros and cons of it, right? So this is a con. So you don't get to have your name on it for all the work you've done. However, if you ask this person to uh, maybe do a referral for you or write a review for you, like let's say you have your own website and you put on there, I'm a ghost writer you know, a freelancer or a contract writer. There's all different kinds of writers. You can pick one that works for you. You, uh, you can be a blogger. You know, you can write blogs for other people. You can have the people that you've had done work for be the person to give you a review for that. So just know that there that there is cons about it, but there's definitely a lot of pros about it. And I really, I really was like, well, there's pros and cons in everything, right? So you got to decide for yourself which is better and which and which can work for you and which isn't going to work for you. And you get to you get and that's the other thing that I really love about this is you get to pick and choose and decide how it is you want to move forward and which piece that you really want. So the other thing is you get to. And then you can build your reputation and your trust also working for, you know, and building and working and copywriting, building these stories for other people, right? And if they really know, like, and trust you, then also the recommendations to other people, or they'll just keep you on and you can really have a nice residual income coming from the same people, the same company, and it can really, really create a lot of benefits. So that's a pro and con about that. So one of the things I thought about though, what I thought would be really cool though, is to write blogs for other people. Cause they're like kind of like short stories. And I, re for me, I really love short stories. So I think for me, a blog would be really awesome. And I'm like, yeah, I could do blog posting for other people. And that's really important. Even though there's like millions of blogs and there's millions of websites out there. Branding, though, for, for the individual person is a really big, very important thing for someone. I know it is for me even. I'm actually um, having somebody build a website right now for me. And I'm, I'm like, excited about that. I'm excited to write my blog posts. And here's another thing, too. You can, so, let, let me just keep going. So, and it, and it pays really, really well. And I'm thinking, wow, I'm 61 years old. And I'm like, am I really want to work in the home health care industry for the rest of my life? Or do I really want to work in, you know, the hotel industry for the rest of my life? No, I do not. And I'm thinking, oh, well, first of all, writing my own book that, you know, being a best-selling author, that'd be awesome, right? But here's the other thing about that. So this also can teach you how to write your own contracts, or not your own contracts, I'm sorry, your own courses. So you can have your own courses for your, 
you know, for your niche market, for the branding that you're putting together. And I thought, oh my gosh, like, this is perfect. And it definitely can help, you know, a person to really understand how to really build and create their business around that. It also helps with speaking skills. It also helps with teaching how to speak on stages, speaking to other people, doing Zoom calls, doing live calls, all these different things, like along with like Toastmasters even, you know, there, and there's all these different ways too, that you can brand yourself. You can even do Fiverr. You can go on Fiverr and you can, you know, offer your services through Fiverr. So I'm, I definitely going to go do more research on this through, through Fiverr. I know I've been on there. I've taken a couple of courses even off of Fiverr because you can even create courses and put it on Fiverr and, and take courses. So there's so much that you can do and bring about an extra or make this your income moving forward once you're either in the industry for part time on si on the side on the side but something that you want to work towards right so you can also create ebooks with this you can um it opens the doors for a lot of other work and and uh you know opens opportunities to other people but it can definitely like i said can be a steady recurring income you can promote your writing as a portfolio piece even you can write this in your contract. You can even ask, obviously, again, for a testimonial. So, yes, yeah, so you can even learn to write your own contract so that you can write your own, you know, price tag on how you want to proceed with, with your ghostwriting skills. And then you can also, you know, put it on your social media. You can put it on LinkedIn. You can put it on your Facebook. You can put it on TikTok. You can do it on Snapchat. You can do it on Instagram Reels. <laughs> like the list goes on, right? So you can definitely have a really amazing platform to be able to promote yourself. In freelance writing, there, there's, um, like, I went on YouTube and just really started reading about it. And there's um, a couple people that are really, really great. Uh, one of the freelance writing starter kits even for you is at locationrebel.com forward slash FWG. So again, that's loc location rebel r-e-b-e-l dot com forward slash f-w-g this guy has a lot of really great uh youtube videos so make sure you uh, go check that out so one of the so, and then i'm in the I, I started listening to to one of his uh, 10 steps how to become a writer how you call yourself a writer and one of the things he talked about is journaling. Like you can journal every day, 200 words a day. And by the end of the year, you can actually have a whole book written. And whether you want to put it out to the world or, you know, keep it to yourself or have it for your family and friends, it's really a great way to, to learn how to be a writer. Uh, one of the bigger things they talked about was reading, read every single day so that you can watch and, and, learn the style of other people's writings which totally makes sense and i am forever ever uh buying books and i seem to not have the time to read all the books so i'm gonna make this a new daily goal new daily habit to get into to do that and he talks about that too your goal daily habits of writing just write 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 and one of the big things i've learned too is just to write it don't worry about the logistics. Don't worry about, you know, inserting a link or don't worry about that. Oh, this wasn't in the right order. Just free flow. Just let it go. Just write it, write it, write it, write it, write it. And my good friend, Dr. Rowe, uh, even gave me an idea, a big clue as to go on Google Docs and put on the microphone and just talk into the microphone and just talk. Set my alarm for 20 minutes, talk for 20 minutes. And if I'm, you know, uh, done, be done right? In 20 minutes, but I can keep going if I'm like in a major flow and it does everything for you. And you can just, you know, talk, speak into it and say comma, you know, period, next sentence, next uh, paragraph, if, if that's how you want to do it. But she says it's the same thing, just let it flow. And I have been finding that this works really, really well. And I love that it's like a text to write type thing. So I just speak and it writes and there it is. So that was really, really a big thing because I was like looking for recorders and, and I definitely have a recorder on my phone, but my recorder on my phone is getting, it's not like really getting full, but I have a lot of events that I've been to and I don't want to, I just, I just didn't want it on my phone. So, um, 
So doing it on Google Docs is really, really amazing, and I love it. And again, too, that I have a place and a space, so when I get ready to do blogs, too, I can just take my text to talk, and I can just copy-paste and put it on my blog. So there, that's that, that's that easy, too. Um, then it also, where does um come from? This also clarifies your thinking, and it, it really gets um, your thought processing working, and it really helps too with just being open to learning more, right? And which is really, really great for us, especially as we start getting older. And, you know, I've talked to you about my mom having dementia and I just, I can't even imagine. Like I'm watching her and it just breaks my heart. You know, you can see that she's really, like she's really listening to what you're saying. I don't even know if she's comprehending everything, but I do know that she can't speak. And so I just really want to do whatever I can to, to keep my mind as sharp as I possibly can and just to keep feeding it really, really good things and prayerfully put it up, out into the world. You guys, I'm really sorry too about my glasses. The, my little light up here broke and I see that it's like causing circles in my glasses, which is so annoying because I see that with other people and I'm like, fix the damn lights. So I apologize. So hopefully I'm sitting up close enough that we can work this out. And a book that he recommended too is called Everybody Writes by Anne Hadley. He said this is actually how he got into ghostwriting was reading this book. And he's got a very successful business. He's got other writers now in his business. They help small businesses. And because basically you really are your own business and it would be a small business. So they have a lot of free information for you that you, sorry, Facebook, a lot of information that you can go in and learn about. And another uh, website that he had gifted to is called copyhour.com. I haven't been on that yet, so I'm going to go check that out. But he says you can also get honest feedback from people. Not your friends, not your mom, not your brother, not your sister. You know, you want to go into a different forum. You know, online writing forums. You can find them. They're all over Facebook. You know, get asked to join a group and just have them, you know, uh, be honest with you about your writing and your thoughts and feelings and keeping a journal too is really, really important because again, it gives you a better, clearer picture of yourself, goals, your motivations, clearer the thoughts, the better the writing. And so I just wanted to pass along these tidbits of conversation for you. And he calls it write, drunk, edit, sober. So what that means is like, <laughs> I don't drink anymore, but I remember what I used to drink. I'd be like, blah, 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 right? You just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. And he said, you just the same kind of manner in writing. You just keep talking, write it down, you know, and, and when you're finished, then you can go back and you can edit, add your links, do whatever it is that you want to do. So I really like that. Uh, this sounds like something that, you know, not only... Can it be something that somebody can invest their time in if that's what they choose to do? But again, 200 words a day, or like I said, talk to text, you know, anything like that. But this is, again, it's, it. there's a myriad of different things that you can, you, can, you can use writing for. What I really love, though, is that I know people that, because I'm a baby boomer, baby boomers like, you know, what am I going to do for the rest of my life, too, or... You know, you leave this adult entertainment industry and you've made all this money and now you're you're working paycheck to paycheck or you're just trying to figure things out. I really, really felt like this was a super great segue into having a really great future for yourself. Another really great way to really uh, make yourself a lot of money. And again, you can create the residual income if you get involved, you know, a company decides that they really want you and they keep using you over and over and over again for, you know, blogging or whatever it is, contracts, whatever it is they want you for, it can be a very lucrative income. So I wanted to share all that with you today because I found it very, very exciting. And I, I really feel like this definitely can help someone out there. You know, it could even help you. I know that this is definitely something that I'm definitely highly considering. And for the fact, too, that I definitely want to speak. And I want to speak not only, you know, for that tipping industry, but my son, too, who, you know, we've been talking about bullying, that sort of thing. And and I just um, really want to have this to his mission work. 
So I'm excited, excited about it. And this is It's Shelly Jean. And it's what you see, what you don't see. And it's also healing the heels. You know, these girls, you know, um, just could really require some really great guidance into, you know, something that could work for them. So I'm really hoping that this ghostwriting might be something that they really, really like. Next week, we'll have another hot topic about, you know, another specific thing that they can, that we can do moving forward. So I'm excited for next Saturday at 9 a.m. And you go out and make it a great day today. And just know that hashtag life does begin again. And I look forward to next week. I look forward to this week. I look forward to this day. And I look forward to hearing from you. So drop in uh, where you're from, you know, what you took away from today. And just know that I appreciate you and I love you and have a fantastic day. Bye, everyone.